Hello everybody. Um, so I've had the AirPods Pro for about two weeks now and uh, I wanted to make a video about it. So I'm going to talk about all the reasons why I love the AirPods Pro. Um, a few things that I think could be better. So let me start by saying that if you are thinking about getting these, uh, you should absolutely get a pair. Uh, I don't know that they are worth the $250 um, uh, price tag, but if you can find these on sale, uh, I think they're well worth it. So uh, what do I love about these uh, AirPods Pros? Um, well, they are completely wireless, so they are very convenient, right? You pop them in your ears and um, you know, there's no wires dangling, and so they tend to stay in place. Now I may be in the minority here, but most of the time when I wear uh, earphones, it's actually not for music, uh, it's for um, active noise cancellation. And the AirPods Pro has uh, active noise cancellation, unlike the regular AirPods. Now, uh, just for context, I also own the Bose QC35s, and the noise cancellation on these uh, is excellent. I would say it's better than the AirPods Pro. However, simply because of the size, uh, this thing is so much more convenient to carry around than this. This thing fits in my pocket so I can have it with me always. It fits into that little pocket, you know, in your jeans and, um, uh, you know, that pocket doesn't fit anything else. So, <laughs> uh, so these go right in. So while I really like the comfort and the performance of the Bose QC35s, because of its size, I find that I don't usually have these with me. Now sometimes I will specifically carry these with me to work when I know that I'm going to need them, um, but, uh, but more often than not, I leave these at home. But these are so small, it's no problem to carry them with me. So that's the first thing that I absolutely love about the AirPods Pro. The other thing that I love about these uh, earphones, believe it or not, is the transparency mode, <laughs> which is really weird, right? Because um, I just said that I love these for the active noise cancellation. Uh, so why do I like it also uh, to transmit the surrounding environment into my ears. Well, the reason is because with most earphones and even, you know, headphones, if you, if you uh, turn off uh, active noise cancellation because, you know, you need to talk to somebody or, or you need a little bit of uh, sort of environmental awareness, you typically have to not just turn it off, but you have to take off the headphones or take out the earphones to be able to hear because you know earphones they plug up your ears and this uh, you know it covers your ears um and so that's like another thing that you you gotta do you gotta like take it out and then you gotta like put it somewhere you gotta put it away in your pocket but with these if i need situational awareness i just turn off um the active noise cancellation it goes straight into transparency mode and I can hear my environment like I w wasn't wearing any headphones at all. And it works really, really well. It sounds very natural. Um, I, would, I will say that uh, your own voice doesn't sound exactly the same as if you had no earphones at all. But pretty much everything else sounds perfectly normal. You know, if somebody else was talking to you, their voice sounds perfectly normal. Another exception I'll say is if there's a lot of noise around you and it's loud, loud, complex noise around you, uh, the, you know, the microphones and the, and the speakers can't fully um, or perfectly reproduce that. Um, so, uh, for example, you know, when I'm in the operating room, it's very loud and noisy. Uh, I've noticed that the, the noise doesn't sound exactly the same as if I don't have earphones on. But in most environments, you know, in a quiet environment, if you're just talking with one person, um, it sounds like there's nothing in your ears. And I love that because, you know, if I need to talk to somebody, I just quickly turn off ANC 
and I don't have to be like fumbling around with earphones in my hands. Uh, another thing that I really like about the AirPods Pro uh, is the spatial audio. Now, not a lot of services use spatial audio. Um, Hulu does. Uh, supposedly Disney Plus and Apple TV also support spatial audio, but like I don't use those services. I would say that spatial audio makes uh, the the sound stage bigger it, it sounds like you're listening to bigger speakers you know if you're holding say your iPad it sounds like the 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 sound is coming from the iPad rather than you know coming from earphones in your ears it's hard to describe but it, it sounds really good you know if you're watching uh, Hulu and you know you and you turn on and off spatial audio it's very noticeable the you know the whole directional aspect of it you know where like if you turn your head it sound it still sounds like it's coming from that direction uh, that's kind of a gimmick in my opinion I haven't found that especially noticeable uh, the 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 main advantage of spatial audio is that it just sounds like a bigger uh, a sound source that's it and I feel that other audio manufacturers have tried that kind of 3d surround sound digital sort of uh, type of um, spatial audio in the past with little success uh, these do it very well now you'll notice that so far I haven't really talked about audio quality um, I think the audio quality is fine there is nothing very special about them uh, and uh, that's it I would say that that's probably the least interesting thing about the AirPods Pro uh, in terms of battery life I think uh, they're fine right uh, I've been using these so much that I've charged them maybe five six times over the last couple of weeks uh, and I think that's fine you know it's a pretty small package I'm not expecting a miracle in terms of battery life um, I think it's fine now on to things I don't absolutely love about these um, one of the things I don't love is the um, in-ear sensor so there's a sensor right there that detects when it's in your ear and so when you pull it out of your ear you know your music or TV will automatically pause and that works just fine but the problem is when I pull them out and if I just put them in my hands it thinks that it's back in my ear and so the music and the TV show will start playing again right and so the whole point of this is so that uh, you know if somebody uh, were to come up to you and start talking to you you can just pull it out of your ear and then start talking right without uh, music con constantly going in your ear but the thing is I think it's very natural to pull it out of your ear and then and then hold the earbuds right uh, and, but that'll trigger that sensor and you know the music will start playing again another thing I don't absolutely love about the AirPods Pro is that I find that it kind of slows down um, uh, YouTube a little bit you know when you're watching YouTube say on your iPad when you press play it starts playing right away right there's no appreciable lag but when you're watching YouTube with these in your ears there is a noticeable lag like one or maybe even two seconds you press the play button nothing happens and sometimes I find myself pressing it again uh, just for it to like play and then pause again you know I'm not sure why that is uh, why there's that lag uh, in in starting playback um, now some people might say well it's because of Bluetooth but I've never ever noticed that problem with my Bose QC35s and uh, finally another thing that I think isn't perfect uh, and I'm really nitpicking here is the uh, connectivity um, it's not perfect sometimes you know when it's going back and forth between your Apple products or so your iPhone and your iPad um, it it kind of loses connection it doesn't play back the sounds from the appropriate device I would say that it does not happen nearly often enough uh, for it to be annoying um, but uh, but just know that it's it's not perfect so that's it uh, 
you know, I've had the AirPods Pro for, like I said, about two weeks, and I've been using them a ton. I love them. You know, they're in my ears constantly, and that's why um, I've already had to charge this thing five, six times already. Um, you know, active noise cancellation obviously uses battery because the, the microphones are picking up noise and then playing the anti-noise into your ear. Um, but even transparency mode, right, uh, uh, eats battery. So, um, you know, the microphones are picking in the surrounding sound and playing that sound through the speakers in here. Uh, so, you know, chances are if this thing is in your ears, it's constantly using batteries and, and you will go through them. But um, I think overall the battery life is very acceptable. You know, you pop them in the case, pull them out, next time they're pretty much guaranteed to be fully charged anyway. So uh, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.